Welcome back to SnowRunner. As you can see, I have the consumables on my trailer here. We just crafted them and picked it up, put it on the trailer. Uh, I had actually started this when I before I crafted it, but I had my crew muted. So that's fine. We'll just start it right there. Uh, like I said, well, like I was saying before I realized I was muted, um, I'm going to take my time driving this over there because obviously I don't have a crane on this truck, so I really don't want to knock this off the trailer. I typically wouldn't use a trailer like this, and typically you wouldn't even be able to use this type of trailer with this truck, but this is a modded 750, so we can pull scout trailers. Um, but still, it's not a very uh, stable trailer, so I'm not going to drive crazy. As you can see, it's already like kicking all over the place. It does seem like it has some suspension in it, which is pretty impressive. I just didn't really want to drag like a huge trailer over, just figure this will work. And luckily we don't really have to go off-road really at all this path. I guess in reality my uh, one Zeke's is right here. I could I could just transfer it over to that and use that. I think that might be what we do. Because I don't really need the 750 over here. I definitely don't need this trailer, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna just I'd rather just use this anyway. And we're gonna need this um, not in this spot anyways, because obviously we have a lot of contracts we gotta do, so we're gonna need our trucks. So let's just do this now. We will stop. Stop. this into this truck. Uh... All right, perfect. I'll just leave that set there. I don't need it right now. swap in here because I don't have any fuel in the reserves. You can't just fill up reserve fuel from a truck like that for some reason. You can from fuel trailers, but not from like a truck's fuel tanks it has. It's really weird. So you have to like transfer it from your truck's fuel tank to those reserve fuels and then fill your truck fuel tank back up. It's kind of dumb, but that's just how it works. So once we finish this, I believe that's it, uh, other than the one task that we don't have unlocked. But once we finish this, we'll look at our contracts and see what we can get done. And there's really just nothing better than this truck. It's just too good.
So, a uh, funny story. Last night, uh, literally like after I had finished recording, I was playing some Assassin's Creed, and my, I had my PS4 down in my basement. And like with Black Flag, I I was using like my all. I have an alternate PSN ID. It's like an old one. It doesn't have PlayStation Plus or anything, but it's just like an alternate one. And like I'm just logged in, or I'm signed in on the PS4 with this account as well. So like my PlayStation Plus allows you know that account to play online and stuff uh so like i've used that account to be able to um you know get some black flag trophies and there's a, a unity trophy where you have to like do sync synchronized kills or whatever so and i have gotten it but like there was something else i wanted to, to try to mess with so i was going to go down and turn on my ps4 and boot that up so that i could try something and uh we have a cat right and we have like our basement door has like a a little like a cutout for a cat like a cat door and like it's not a door it's just like it's literally just like a half circle and like it has a little like cat frame like little cat ears frame on it um i mean i installed it so like it's like i did it my wife bought it and i installed it so it's just like a little cat opening for her to go down the stairs because like her litter box is down there and, uh, anyway, um, I'm just going to drive around for a second here until I finish this story. So, um, but my youngest son, he's two, two and a half, he, um, he likes to throw toys down the, the cat hole. Because, like, you know, he throws it down there and it just goes down the steps. And he must have thrown, like, we have, like, a Vicks Vapor Rub container you know it's like a little round cylindrical container and he threw that through the hole right and you know it's granted think it's like 11 or 10 45 at night 11 o'clock uh my wife is like in bed she'd been in bed obviously for a little while she wasn't sleeping but she was just back there and um i go to go down the stairs to turn on my playstation or turn on the ps4 and on, it was on like the second or third step and like I was wearing like uh, like house slippers, so I wasn't even in like my bare feet. So I don't exactly know if that's what I stepped on, but I'm pretty sure I stepped on the Vix container. Well, as you can imagine, stepping on something round and rolly like that, it literally just rolled, landed straight on my back, on the stairs, and next thing I knew, I was on the floor of the basement. Like it happened that fast. So like totally wiped out fell down the stairs it hurt real bad because you know i'm not you know some young kid like i'm i'm in my 30s so it was uh, it wasn't fun and i've been super sore today i mean i didn't like seriously injure myself or anything but it hurt <laughs> so that was ugh it's horrible all right um I don't really want to do that yet. Preventive care. Where the hell do I get hay bales from? The flooded land. Medium pipes. Okay, what else? Uh, we could do the burnt logs, actually. Although... I'm trying to think of what I can do here. I know we're kind of... Okay, so these need to be taken. Um, hmm. 
Well, I guess I don't need to have both of these trucks over here. So let's just uh, recover this and we'll go try and get those two trucks delivered to where they need to go. trailer so I'm gonna skip that because we're basically just gonna tow these trucks I believe this is the best way to go well maybe not I could go across the river here Feels like really out of the way. Yeah, I think we want to go this way and then up through here. probably going to record two episodes here back to back so this may span those two episodes just because this is probably going to take a little while because it's kind of far and we have to basically drive all the way back over here and then drive all the way back and tow the twin steer to the other map so it's probably going to span across two episodes if I can imagine We should just be able to start knocking out these contracts pretty quickly and getting this region finished. Now we'll move on to British Columbia. But season 11 is coming out real soon. I think I believe, I believe it comes out on Thursday. Which may be when this episode goes live. Yeah, I think so. No. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about my what my upload schedule looks like here. Uh, but I believe the new region comes out on Thursday, the 19th. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we get the Logitech fix as well.
I realize I could probably like, cut out some of this driving too, but I just, I don't know. I just kind of feel like that's kind of the point of the game, so if you cut out too much of it, then it's basically just you delivering cargo. <laughs> you don't get to see any, like, the actual, like, mechanic of the game, which is literally driving around. Definitely went the wrong way. Supposed to go right there, not left. Alright, this truck can handle it either way. We can definitely cut through there. Like, that's just, that's straight up a path. <laughs> Very not obvious one, but it's definitely there. These rocks are going to be a little tough, I think, but... This truck has no issue. points but whatever It's probably going to go back the way we came. So literally has to go right back to the garage. I believe, right? Oh no, fire department parking lot. The garage is also the fire department, so like I don't. It's confusing. Maybe we should try to go across this again. I don't know. Hopefully the caterpillar doesn't get stuck. I know the winch line clips through trees.
I wish it would just let you drive the truck. I don't know why it doesn't. Like, you have to tow it. I feel like this would be a really good map to do to like start hard mode in and I know that sounds crazy but like you get so many trucks on these this region so like if you could get some of those trucks it could like be super beneficial I don't know I, d I definitely think you need to do all of the vanilla maps first though just because of upgrades and stuff because a lot of those upgrades carry over to other trucks later on. So skipping all that and not getting those upgrades is going to hurt you, but... I don't know, I just feel like the amount of trucks you get on this region would, like, seriously help you in hard mode. So you could sell them, make some money... Once we deliver this, I'm going to end this episode and we'll finish this in the next episode, which I'm going to record literally right after this. I'm trying to get some recordings done because so I'm not going to be able to record this weekend, I don't think. I work a lot. My sister-in-law is going to be here. It's just going to be a hectic weekend, so I'm trying to get stuff recorded so I don't miss any days, but if I do miss a day, then I miss a day. It's not going to be the end of the world. But I literally work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. I will finish this off in the next episode, so stay tuned. Leave a like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will catch you in the next episode. Have a good one.